show you how to make these super cute and adorable, easy to make mason jar solar lights for tabletops. Pretty much everything you need to assemble them, you get at the dollar store. Uh, the only things you can't get at the dollar store, unless your dollar store sells them, is the fabric and the craft cord. But I'm sure you probably have remnants around your house that you can use for this. But these are so simple, so easy, and for the price of $2, you can make your own mason jar solar light for your tabletops. And trust me, once you're done watching this video, you are going to be running to the dollar store or 99 cent store to grab yourself what you need to make this. So the best part of these is that um, when they are turned on, they charge during the day on the top, the solar part, and then when it gets dark, they turn on. And then when it turns daytime, they'll turn off. So if you really wanted to just leave these on all the time, you could. And uh, there is an on off switch, but as we're putting these together, I'll show you the on off switch. But they're super cute. I love them and I hope that you love this idea as much as I do and that you end up running to the store and doing this project today. So what are you gonna need for this project? You are going to need a mason jar and the Kerr ones, like I've said, the dollar store, the 99 cent store sells. You are going to need to get yourself a solar yard light stake, one of these at the dollar store. You're going to need some scissors. You're gonna need some crafting cord. You are going to need some fabric. I cut myself a seven and a half inch round piece of fabric and I'm using this fabric because this is the indoor outdoor fabric that I bought from Joann's that I reupholstered all my backyard outdoor furniture with. And so I'm gonna put the, tie this in with that for the top of my table. You're gonna need to go plug in your hot glue gun and get it nice and hot, and you're gonna need a pen. And I think that is all you need. So let's get started. Let me show you how to do this, and it takes five, 10 minutes max, and then you've got yourself a mason jar solar tabletop light. Okay, so you've got your yard stake. They also have the yard stakes that have uh, the stainless steel or the chrome on it. It really doesn't matter. Um, I kind of prefer it with the chrome because it makes this round part wider so it fits into the mason jar hole better. Um, when it doesn't, when it's just the plain black one, it kind of doesn't and it makes it more of a hassle to try and get it to stay in there. But with the chrome one, it fits perfectly and you can't push it all the way through. And so this one, I really like quite a bit. And the chrome does come off of them. And so I'm not sure if maybe the dollar store just lost the chrome ones, but anyhow, those are the two different ones to use. And today I am using the black one because I already used the black one on this one. And then you can see that on the red one, I used the chrome. And so, um, yeah, to stay with the pattern, I'm gonna use the black. So what do we do with this? So we go ahead and you wanna pull this black plastic part of the stake out. And then you are left with this and you no longer need this. But because I'm me, I'm not throwing that away because I'll probably find something to do with it and regret throwing it away later. So you are left with this. Now, what you can do with this is um, this plastic piece rotates right here, this clear plastic piece, which is the reflector, which is supposed to help the solar light be brighter by the reflector. So you can go ahead and twist this plastic piece and it comes right off out of here. And then you will see an on off switch right here on off and that is how you turn your solar light on and off now like i said before you can keep it on and during the day the solar light will self turn off and then at dusk it will um go ahead and turn itself on when it's dark enough 
But um, because I'm not in my backyard every single day barbecuing, I am going to keep mine off just to hopefully get the most life out of these and um, turn them on as I need them. So go ahead and put your plastic goodie back on and um, you're done with that for now. What you're gonna do is you are gonna take your lid and you are gonna put it, center it, on your circle piece of fabric, on your round piece of fabric. And you are going to take your pen and draw a smaller circle on the inside. And so it is going to be quite a bit smaller and you'll see why. So go ahead and I'll show you And your circle doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry if it's not. Okay. So this is what I've done. This is what it should look like. That much smaller than your ring. So now you are going to just take your scissors and you're going to cut that circle out that you just made. Okay, so now you've got your circle and that's what it should look like. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut slits all the way around our circle. And um, you want to cut the slits, I would say at least a half an inch, make them a half an inch long. So go ahead and cut your slits. Okay, and this is what you should be left with is all these pieces that kind of fold up and in. So now you're gonna need your hot glue gun and you're going to need your lid. And what we are going to do is, I will show you because the angle of my camera is funky. We are gonna put a dot of hot glue on one of those slits and fold it over into your lid. So that's what it should look like. Go ahead and put the hot glue on the tips of each slit and then just take your fabric and fold it up into the lip underneath your mason jar lid. Okay, and once you're done, this is what you should be left with. That's the inside of your ring, and here's the outside. Here is the top of your ring. So that's what you should be left with. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our solar light, I'm gonna flip this over, and we are going to put the solar light right through our mason jar lid. We're gonna set it down Take our hot glue gun and I am going to right in between the mason jar lid and your solar light down on right on the lip of that mason jar I am going to put a dot of hot glue that is touching the solar light and the mason jar lid and once I put that dot I am going to take the end of my paintbrush and smooth it out so it is touching both the light and the mason jar. And you wanna smooth that out because if you put too much glue in between there, your cap is not gonna screw on. And I just kinda of do blots. 
all the way around. And it's going to stay good because the solar light is being stuck to the fabric. If it was just being stuck to the, to the metal mason jar lid itself, uh, the hot glue will probably come undone. Okay, so there we have it. It is on there. It's not coming off. And um, it's in there good. So now you're just going to take your mason jar and you're going to, well first, let's turn on our light. We'll go ahead and turn our light on. Hopefully it's dark enough in here to stay on. We're going to stick our light inside the mason jar and we are going to Screw on the light, there we have it. And now we're gonna take our crafting rope or our crafting cord and just tie it around the lid. I'm not doing it on the neck of the jar because if you do it on the neck of the jar, you're going to have to always untie it and put it on and off when you want, if you wanna turn your light on and off. And so I'm doing it on the lid itself so I can um, take the lid on and off without having to untie the cord and redo the fabric every time I wanna turn it on and off. Yeah, it's not bright enough right now to keep it on. It's gonna keep going on and off. But there you have that. I'm going to cut my cord a little. And there you have it. There is your set now. Look at that. Isn't that just so stinking adorable? I love these things. And what I was thinking of doing maybe is filling the bottom up with sand. You know what, let me go see how that's gonna look. I'm gonna do that while I'm on the camera with you. Okay, I am back with my trusty bag of sand. And let's see how this turns out. I wanna see how this is gonna look, just for the heck of it. Okay, there, you, there we go. You tell me, which one do you think you like better? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It just, whatever you want to put in there. You want to put pine cones or potpourri or pasta or who knows, you know, you can put whatever you want in there or nothing. But I think that sand is kind of a cute look. I kind of like that one. Actually, I like that one a lot. So I hope you all liked this video today and give me a thumbs up please if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please for more crafting on a budget ideas to come and I hope right now you find yourself running on over to the 99 cent dollar store to buy yourself a yard steak solar light deal and a mason jar to make yourself one of these cool tabletop solar lights. And until next time, have a good day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now. See you soon.